Power for ED1 and ED2 are on. Struggling into the latest shuttle suit isn't easy. Made from thick layers of advanced materials and fixed with hard joints, it is more like a miniature spacecraft than clothing. Susan Shentrup is a spacesuit technician. Her average size, fitness and technical skills make her an ideal guinea pig when a reconditioned suit needs a test. All right, underneath the lower torso, you see she's got a cooling garment on. She's going to put on thumb loops. The tight-fitting cooling garment is a British invention from the 50s originally for fighter pilots. That makes sure their garment doesn't get bunched up on her shoulders. And she absolutely just dives through, puts her arms up and, and pushes with her legs straight up into the hut, or the hard upper torso. All right, she's up inside. First thing we're gonna do is get her a little cooling, so she hooks up the garment to the backpack, locks in place. This belt-like clip is a hose connector that joins right. the pipes laced through the cooling garment to a cold water supply on her backpack. She's going to use these donning handles. She brings it up and line, lines it up. So we need to line it up. All right. Drive it up into the locks. And then we're all set. OK, next we don the communication cap. Adjust the chin strap under the chin. Make sure the microphones are up close against my mouth. OK. All right, next step is Put on the gloves. The gloves needed to stop a bullet and pick up a dime, say the astronauts. But NASA has never cracked the problem of gloves. They remain bulky, uncomfortable, and inhibit dexterity. She can't inadvertently come off in space, so there's a lock and a, and a secondary lock behind that. It takes two hands to get them open. The hand in space, so the gloves are the trickiest part of the suit. Okay. So she's got an ability to uh, tighten up the gloves to fit her hands. That's what she's doing there. And we'll turn on the, uh, put on the helmet, get her buttoned up. All right, the helmet locks in place just like the other garments. She lines that up, drives it down, and she can lock it in place. And she's ready to get ready to go outside. So we're going to take her off the wall. The shuttle suit weighs over 250 pounds. This cumbersome suit is all that NASA can offer its astronaut in space. The helmet visors. Rotating at the shoulder. It's on Earth that astronauts can really tell the difference. Suits are worn mostly for training and testing. They spend relatively small amounts of time in space and this has always given soft suits an advantage. It is a triumph, not of science, but of engineering. A culmination of a 50-year struggle to live outside the protection of Earth's atmosphere. A mere 30 years from now, the US administration expects Americans to step onto the surface of Mars. For that, this suit is useless. So where does NASA go from here? And how did it get here in the first place? The hatch is closed and locked, and the locked latch is indicating locked.